Welcome to our channel. I'm so glad you visited today. If you are new to our channel, I want to give you a big welcome and my name is Teresa. Today I've got three DIY projects. A little bit of French country, a little bit of shabby, and farmhouse. So y'all sit back and let's make some cute fall decor. If you haven't joined my Facebook Home Decor page yet, I'd love for you to go over and join in at Our Green Acres Home Decor and DIY Inspirations. Also, go over and follow me on Instagram. The first project we're going to make is going to be some shabby tags. These tags that I'm working with come from Dollar General last year. As you can see, that cost $1. You can also get these at the Dollar Tree. The printables I'm going to be using for this project come from Roost and Restore. She has a Facebook page and she's also over on Instagram. I'm going to leave all of her information below. But you basically just go out, you purchase the, the printables and she will send them to you in your email and you can download them as many times as you want to. I bought four from her and I'm going to use a couple today in these projects. But they are very nice quality uh, graphics and you can just see the colors are perfect for fall. And I love the sunflower and I'm also going to do one that's going to be a fall pumpkin. I chalk painted each tag and I'm going to leave the links to my chalk paint that I get off of Amazon down below so if you're interested in the Rust-Oleum chalk paint that I use just go to my description box and it'll take you out to Amazon. And I distressed them with my sanding block and then I wiped them off with a damp rag. I went outside and used my Gorilla Spray Adhesive Glue to adhere them to the tags. You can also adhere them with Mod Podge. This is the Michaels Ribbon Bundles. I will leave a link to those below. Now I'm going to take the twine hanger off and we will use this again in just a few minutes. And I'm going to show you, show you how we can really shabby this tag up. That's just a washer. It was already black, but you can spray paint it black or you could paint it with um, bronze, um, the burnt umber and just give it a little bit more of a rustic look. And then you want to work your ribbons into that hole. And you'll be surprised of how many ribbons you can get in that little hole. But use your tweezers and as you go, just pull them through the back. Now you can use as many ribbons as you want or and you can use, you know, different colors. Just bring out the colors that's in your graphic. And once you get all the ribbons that you want on, then you'll want to tie it. And I just tied it in a, in a single loop. And then you're going to want to go in and pull each side of each of the pieces of ribbon. And that way, that'll give you a really smooth, polished look there on the top. So just pull both sides of each one. And then when you get those the way you want them, then I just got my scissors and I gave it a little bit of a haircut. Now, I would rather go less at first. Um, I, you know, I, I always like to leave them a little bit longer because if you ever make it too short, you can't go back and put it back on. So I just kind of trim as I go. And now I'm reapplying um, that piece of twine. That'll be my hanger. And you just basically tie that on. I tied it on a knot in a knot. And then I just clipped it off with my scissors. Now here I want to show you just one more little detail we can put on it to give it more of a 3D effect. I made a little bow out of some ribbon I had and tied it with twine and I hot glued it onto my pumpkin. That gives it just a little bit more of a detail and it gives it that 3D effect. Okay, DIY number two is probably going to be the easiest uh, DIY we've done. This is going to be a little candy corn sign. The sign came from Dollar Tree last year. Just take the sticker off the back so it doesn't show through on your graphic. This is a free printable. I'll link it down below. Basically, you just clip it out. I again went outside. I used my Gorilla spray adhesive. I sprayed it on. Take my sanding block and I'm going to go over the whole block just to give it more of a distressed look. And then all I did was I added a little bow at the top. hope you're enjoying the video so far and if you are please hit that like button it really helps out our channel we really appreciate it
DIY number three is going to be a shabby pumpkin. Now this pumpkin I originally purchased at Target in the bullseye section. And I got it last year and I, I made a project out of it last year. Now I'm going to redo um, how I painted it from last year. So I'll go over it with uh, white linen chalk paint again. And I'm going to distress it to bring out a lot of that paint that I put on it last year. Now, I have a graphic that I printed off of Graphics Fairy. This is also a free printable, and I will link the Graphics Fairy uh, website down below if you're interested in free printables. They have a lot to choose from, but I'm just going to cut around as much of the white as I can. And again, I'm going to apply this with Gorilla Spray Adhesive, and I always use this. I go outside to spray it because it's very, it's very strong, so I do never recommend doing this in the house. And then I just take a pencil, and I want to secure it down over those little raised palette edges really good, and just let that, um, that texture you know come through the graphic and then i had ben go out and saw the little stem off he just had a little hand saw and he said it came off really easy so i'm going to take the stem the stem off and i want to show you some other options for stem i used a lamp finial that i've used on many projects i stuck that up there with some hot glue just to show you how you can take you know a three dollar little pumpkin and you can just totally transform it into something, you know, a, you know, a little shabby piece. I thought this one turned out really cute. And then I just tied a knot in a piece of lace, crochet lace, and then I just embellished the top. If you're not subscribed to our channel yet, we'd love for you to join our YouTube family, so just hit that red subscribe button. I hope y'all enjoyed the projects today and um, this weekend Ben is going to be uploading a Splinter Wars video so I'm going to be putting up my hot glue gun and I'm going to be running the hydraulics on the log splitter with him. So y'all be watching for that video and as always y'all appreciate you watching and I'll see y'all in the next video.